after a few busy weeks and visits to Paris and the Netherlands, from meeting my colleagues, seeing my friends and family, I was really happy to come back to my quiet little life here in the countryside. I really need some alone time after spending a lot of time with other people, even though I really enjoy being around people that I love. And I was just happy to come back to my quiet, slow pace and finding my little daily routines. So as you can hear, Olaf and our friend Pascola are getting the wall ready next door in our future kitchen to repoint it. And we that will be probably one of the last things that we'll touch there and that's got to do with professional builders coming in to install our heating system and all those things because we have decided that we will rent out this space, the Cook's Cottage, for July and August, maybe even September. We have received many requests about it and bookings and we kept turning them down like we didn't know when it's finished and then we just decided let's just, it's only a couple of last finishes. I know to you it probably looks wonderful, but that light fixture isn't the right one. The ceiling needs to be painted and all those things. I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, and also showing you what we're changing or what we're finishing. And my plan for today is to paint the windows and the doors and the window over there because this is still in just a primer coat. And you probably can hear me with all the noise. I'll just show you what I'm doing. <laughs>
So the thing with this window is that this can't come out, like the window panes can't come out because of the, you can't see it, I think, the beam that we put in there. <laughs> um, so I can't lift them out. So I'll just have to try and make this as neat as I can. The interesting thing is all of this is not finished yet. So Olaf needs to put in a window sill. Is that the word? Anyway, and he wants to protect the um, natural line render. As you see, there's a bit here that's broken and that's because it's just not protected enough. So that's all kinds of finishes that we need to do still as well. And uh, for now, I'm just gonna focus on putting a layer of paint on. The color that I'll be using is this one. We actually use this on the walls here and on our kitchen masonry. It has a very different look depending on where you put it. So that is on the walls. On camera, it actually looks very cool gray. Uh, it's a bit warmer than that. And on the walls of the kitchen, so the masonry of the kitchen, that is the same color and it looks much whiter on that one. And the swatch is this one, Blanc Champagne. And as you can see, that looks much wider on the wall and it definitely looks much wider. This looks horrible. I shouldn't even show you this. You know what? I'm actually going to try Olaf's method. He uses a, I don't know what the word is, a trowel or a spatula kind of thing. Then he just sticks like this and then he paints it. See, this is it. And you can tell that it's been used for various colors and painting projects already. So yes, let's put my hair up and try to see if we can make this work. This, oh my gosh, this is amazing because this actually means you don't have to put the tape on and everything is so much faster.
Olaf and I are on our way to a really charming little village where we're helping a Dutch couple with some ideas for the remodel of their home, together with our architect. That's how we knew them. And so we spent some time with them and did a really nice walk around the village and then decided to try the restaurant that I know is there and I've wanted to try it for such a long time. And we spontaneously decided to go there together. It was actually almost closed and we were the very, very last people. So they let us in, which was wonderful. It was such a nice experience. I'm ending this video with a quick tour of my local Emmaus. I'm actually cleaning and clearing out a lot of stuff in preparation of all the building works we're doing. So I'm donating lots of stuff to Emmaus at the moment. And I always do a quick tour, of course, I have to. So I'm just taking you around the shop, like a part of the shop, not all of it, real quick. And I'll show you my haul at the end of this video.
ici, ça. Ouais, mais je regarde quand même. Ouais, j'avais fait un défi de l'heure. Hein. Bah, elle est vendue pas. C'est ok, c'est bon. And here is my little haul for today. And all of this together was only 14 euros. And that is mostly thanks to the parking where I got this that for some reason I just really liked. I thought like if I could do a couple of um, storage items on a shelf in the kitchen maybe, but this is just a really nice one. It was even nice, I think, to put a plant in or something. I just, I don't know, I couldn't read the stamp, which I usually can. So if anybody knows, let me know. I just really, I thought it had something to it. I just liked it. Then more bowls like this. I have so many. These are all by Degrin, as you can see. And I just use them all the time. So I need them. <laughs> I tell myself I need them. I really like these. You can see this one's quite colored. It's not as um, beige. It's Degrin as well. And then I also got another one of these. I think I saw this one last time and decided to not pick it up because I don't need it. It's quite, um, it has a lot of imperfections, but that's all from how it was finished in the factory. But then you can't see it, but up there in here, I had three of those. And since we're four at home and since you can never have too many, I decided to pick one more up anyway. So I got that. Then I got all these. I have quite a few. Trivet, I think, is a word in French. Um, that's just to put your hot dishes and pans on. These are all very rusty, which is not harmful. But I thought I might even just clean them and spray paint them black. Just, I don't know, because... I wasn't sure if I wanted to leave them this way. Um, well, many of the other ones I have are dark navy blue as well, by the way. And then I found another one of this. Maybe if you've seen my recent video, I bought one at the Brocante shop here in Nolet. And now I found a similar one. And this one actually has the Limoges um, stamp on it. And I thought it was just nice because it's quite a small one. So if I am making whatever, like a gratin dauphinois or maybe a clafoutis or something else or like a tortilla or something from uh, the oven and I have more mouths to feed, I could make two and it looks really nice on the table. And then I picked up this print. I was actually going in for an oil painting. I started really to look for nice art that I can put in our future kitchen and while I was walking in a man came walking out with such a gorgeous oil painting I was like yep yeah, that was exactly the thing that I came for hello you can see me in my reflection but then I found this one it was actually easier to see one that was lying down and I just thought it really feels like it could be from my home with the grapes and the rustic bread and it's by an Italian painter. <laughs>
and I figured it doesn't really matter. I just really liked it and I think it will look lovely. And of course you can get all these prints now very easily on Etsy, but this just feels so much more ecologically responsible <laughs> uh, because this was just sitting there and it has a frame that I might not use or change. I just really like the print. I think it's blue has always been my favorite color, although many things that we have in our house now are green. But we'll see. Anyway, this was my little haul. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I got all of that for only, this was five euros. Then these two bigger ones with this one was eight. And then the guy from the backing gave all of this for one. He really just wanted to get rid of that. It's always such a good deal when they have that feeling. Let me know which item or items you like most from this little collection.